long and rigorous preparation. I take this opportunity to express my gratitude to the U.S. government, MCC, and MCA Nepal. And I'm thankful to the U.S. government for choosing Nepal. And for a long time, we, we are asking for infrastructure projects. Because in terms of infrastructure, Nepal has to do a lot. In terms of roads, in terms of transmission line, in terms of many other infrastructure projects. I am glad that the two major infrastructure component is covered with this MCC supported project, roads and transmission line. Why we are, we are saying roads? Because we need descent roads so that people, not only people are connected, but also they, they should be able to engage in businesses and production activities that they can take it to the market. That is why road project is important for us. At the same time, transmission line is important for us. We have good hydropower potential and we are going good in terms of production but to take that production to the market is crucial. That is where importance of transmission lines come. That is why the major component of this project is transmission line. <clears throat> we are confident that both the transmission line and road maintenance project will showcase an example of successful project in Nepal and contribute to economic growth. 315 kilometer transmission line circuit is expected to strengthen the electricity supply system and overcome inadequacies in the transmission line infrastructure. We sincerely believe that the transmission lines will facilitate cross-border electricity trade between Nepal and India, helping to explore investment, accelerate growth, economic growth, and reduce poverty. Similarly, the old maintenance project will help enhance Nepal's current practices in the maintenance of road with the introduction of climate smart and sustainable technology. MCA Nepal, the government of Nepal, in, entrusted with program implementation has completed most of the preparatory work except difficult land acquisition work. I trust MCA Nepal will work hard with focus on remaining work and complete on time utilizing all emerged funds. We, we arrived at this launching event today after a decade long collaboration. We don't have time, and frankly, it'd be a bit boring uh, if I talked about everyone's contributions uh, in the room. I would be remiss if I didn't particularly uh, thank the minister and the secretary for their leadership, their engagement, and their involvement. Um, but maybe let me address the involvement of the government of Nepal more broadly. Uh, and that involvement has, of course, been across governments. Um, and really, its commitment to ensuring that this program meets the needs and priorities of the people of Nepal, as the ambassador referenced. Uh, and let me give just a couple of examples. You know, that's everything from uh, support to the establishment and ongoing accomplishments of the MCA. Uh, that's the transparency uh, and the commitment to inclusive consultation with communities uh, that are affected by the infrastructure works on the uh, projects. Uh, that's designating the energy Transmission project is a national pride project, uh, setting up the regulatory environment, strengthening that. I could go on and give many other examples uh, of that. Uh, and for that, we appreciate, uh, appreciate the work. Look, we, 
we've been steadfast partners, uh, MCC and the government of Nepal, going back to the earliest days of, of compact development. And so it's really apropos that we're gathered here together uh, to turn on that, that five-year clock. I can say that for MCC, we are confident going into implementation based on that strong collaboration and preparation uh, that we've undertaken here. Now, is there a significant amount of work ahead? Absolutely. Will there be issues? Undoubtedly. But because of that strong collaboration and the preparation, I look forward to five years from now being able to look at the results of what we've achieved, being able to talk about a stronger power sector that has increased reliability of electricity uh, to the people of Nepal.